Rush Bake, welcome back to another episode of the Not Hole Gang, but this time we're coming to you from Rivers of America by Critter Country because we did not get to the parking structure making friends this weekend due to Pixar Pier. Uh, we spent our whole day in DCA and didn't get to hardly do anything. I, I, I escaped over to Disneyland for about a half an hour just to get this footage. I couldn't get on the Mark Twain either because it had already stopped operating by the time I got there. So a <laughs> short episode, a uh, short update this week. We're going to have shots from you or for you from, from Cutter Country here on the river and then from uh, Chippendale's Treehouse in Toontown. And really what we're going to feature here are just some of the, some of the uh, detail that we're seeing, some of the progress we're seeing on the rock work. Uh, you know, a lot of areas have, have gone into the next phase, which is that kind of whitewashed uh, exterior before they start putting in the color. And then we'll slide over here to the right to get a good look at this Star Wars, uh, Star Warsy domish building here that looks to have been given a little more detail and a little more color uh, since the last update. There's what I'm talking about. That's like that's the that's the stage just before they start adding fine detail, I believe, before they start putting on the paint and all those little texture nuances, um, you know, the aging process. Etc. So look at that. You can see those spokes sticking out of that rock work right there. Let's pause. We don't often get to notice something like this because uh, we're on the Mark Twain and it's a moving target. But here, <laughs> you know, I mean, it, it just drifts away and that view changes and it's gone before we could even really get a good look at it. But uh, this first time I've really noticed those those spokes because we see when they build these uh, metal or steel uh, frameworks for for the for the spires that they they look kind of like. Um, Erector sets, or, or I, I'm not sure what the term I'm looking for. There's a toy. I want to say Tinker Toys. Is that what I'm talking about? They look like, yeah, Tinker Toys, where it had the spoke in the middle, and then you stick the sticks in there, and then you can just build. I, I kept wanting to say Erector set, but that's not right. But it's tink, I think it's Tinker Toys. Uh, that's what that kind of reminds me of. It's just fascinating. Uh, that's kind of, you know, that toy is based a little bit in reality, right? Like, that's kind of how they do it, in this case, anyway. Uh, so that's pretty neat. Let's continue. And that's that new tower that or spire that they've been... See how they stick out like that? That's neat, right? Okay, I'm going crazy. Uh, another close-up of the dome. Not sure which one this is, but... Um, you know, it's you know, it's the same one we just saw. And then there again is the new, new Tinker Toy that they're putting in in Star Wars Land. Here's a spire that's, uh, well, actually, we're going to first focus in on the little, I think that's the, the marketplace down there. But here, now we'll see the, uh, the spire that's getting some mesh. That's, re that's fairly new. It was there last week, but uh, it's fairly recent that they've been adding that mesh to that really tall spire. Here's another dome structure getting a little more progress, a little more color, a little more detail. And this is probably the only look we're going to get from Millennium Falcon, because you can't see the Millennium Falcon uh, construction from anywhere along the Quarter Country or Riverside. You have to see that from the Mark Twain or from uh, Toontown. Before we go to Toontown, I did happen to catch this train. So let's take a brief Disney interlude to enjoy a train going by on the Disneyland Railroad. Isn't that lovely? And before we get to Toontown, I was asked to give a little demo on how we get the shots that we do get from there, because if you just go up that treehouse, you can't see anything. So we'll let my on-site commentary from Chippendale's Treehouse take over. Well, arrived at the Chippendale Treehouse. And uh, I was asked, how do I get the shots that I get from here? Because that's, if you just come here by yourself, or I mean, if you just come here, you don't, you don't have any other way to sort of enhance the shot, this is what you see. You can barely see the top of that thing, and that's all there is. But uh, we found that uh, with a little ingenuity, you can see, you can do a lot better than that. But it does require, it helps that I am <laughs> six feet tall. Uh, but here's what we do. So we start here, and then we've got this, uh, this little mini tripod that I use for the uh, 360. Uh, any kind of you know tripod will do, uh, like a gorilla pod or something like that. And just put 
put that on the bottom to give yourself a little more height. And then I stand right here on this edge and I give myself another six inches or so uh, by standing on that little cliff, or that little cliff, <laughs> that little, that little raised area right there. Stand on that, raise your arm as high as you can get it. And I can't really talk and do that at the same time because obviously this thing's about, you know, another three feet above my head, but that's pretty much how we do it. And then we, I kind of have to, in order to get the stuff on the right, I have to lean out and I'm like, I'm teetering over this edge as I film that. Um, but you know, I'm kind of like, I'm like that. But anyway, there you go guys. Quick a little uh, update on that and then let's get some coverage. Cool, right? <laughs> anyway, uh, it's surprisingly it was hard to see anything because it was getting so late that there was there was sort of an overcast shady effect happening this is the the longer shot and then we'll switch over to a close-up view so many domes you guys a lot of new domes have, have, have popped up uh, over the course of the last few weeks there's three there's a new one right there uh, in the foreground uh, they, there's this thing is gonna be just lousy with domes and that's the one with here you know what? let's stop here and compare uh, we've been watching them build this thing right here. Uh, here's a shot from three weeks ago. Uh, pretty, you know, that's a lot of progress, I would say, comparatively speaking, to some of the other action that we've seen going on. And we'll continue. And then there's that, there's the shiny dome that we've been following along as well. And as I lean out, we'll pick up the other bigger domes in the back or in the, that are occurring in our foreground. Notice that thing is still a pyramid, guys. I thought the dome, I thought it was going to get domed up. People are saying it's going to get domed up. I don't think that's getting domed up. I think that's a pyramid. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for watching my pyramid show. <laughs> Fresh baked. <laughs> We've got lots more videos for you to see, so grab a churro and check out some of our other videos and have your mind blown by how much fun we're having. We truly are the best of Disney Bake Fresh daily. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next time. Fresh baked.